All right, let's do this. Bacchus versus AMC. You know what? No, not this skin. Well, actually, yeah. The king, baby. Gotta use the king. Okay. First thing you need to know about Bacchus and Duel, he's probably one of the worst. He's really bad. He used to be good with Sunder, or decent with Sunder, but he's really, really, really bad now. Right so, uh, okay, so here's my conundrum. Is that the right word? Mage's Blessing gives me lots of mana, but then I don't have health. Warrior's Blessing gives me lots of health and mana, but actually not enough health mana. I think I'll go Warrior's Blessing because he is a B. I'm gonna get a double chalice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good idea. Okay, and then for this, we will get... Yeah, I mean, I could guess. I could guess under. Uh, does Curse Donk work on... Okay. I think I'm gonna get... Bracer? But I gotta ask you guys... Oh, shoot. I'm too late. Whatever, at least I got a bunch of that. I gotta ask you guys. Does... Uh, does Upgraded Cursed Donk, like, since his hives are healing him, does that activate it? Because if so, that will be the true and ultimate counter to AMC. But it, it doesn't count. It counts as HP5, doesn't it? Or something like that. Okay, so we, we need to take Minion Aggro. Just to help that clear a little bit. Still gonna be pretty bad, though. <laughs> so here's the thing about Bacchus. His clear is bad. His sustain's really bad, but his combo, his combo is amazing. Don't get me wrong, I love, yeah, don't think I'm hating on Bacchus. I love Bacchus, just in duel, he's not that good. And his clear is not that great. I should be using the burp more on the minions, but that's okay. Look, I'm already... I'm already dying. Honestly, the double chalice was the way to go because you always have to back early on. Bacchus. Always. Basically, as long as he doesn't take my buff, I'm okay. My blue buff. If he takes my blue buff, I'm screwed. He probably knows that. Does he have a special emote? No, he has a dance? I forgot Bacchus has a dance. I don't play him that often anymore. Middle used to play him a lot back when Sunder was a thing. But even then, like, don't get me wrong, Bacchus was still pretty bad back then, but he could actually win. Whereas now, he can get some kills, but he usually loses. So, spoiler alert, we probably lose this. But, you never know. If we get an early first blood and a nice second blood, you never know. I might have to ult for this, which kind of sucks. Because if he steals this... He steals this, it's really, really bad. Yeah. Oh my god, his buff clear is so bad. Okay. Alright, now we have blue buff, which is very good. That blue buff, it's not looking good. I just missed out on an entire minion wave. 300 gold behind. Oh, I didn't hit him. Okay, he missed his ult. Good, good, good. Okay, maybe we can... Get him to dive tower a bit here. Help him get a lucky kill. If he dives tower a bit. Your middle tower is under attack. Nope. Hmm. I don't know. We might be able to fight this. We might be able to fight this. I don't. I doubt he's gonna stay though. I really, really doubt he's gonna stay. Oh, he went double chalice as well. Interesting. I don't like the honey. Kind of makes it a pain. Usually the burp and then two is better, but because you can confirm the two as well as diminishing returns, but that's okay. Because knockups aren't affected by diminishing turns, so it's always best to use the two last. But sometimes it doesn't matter. Like the alt, the alt effect isn't that great. Like it doesn't matter that much. Oh, I might be able to get it here. Might be able to get it. I love up the burp because it's about to be up. No. Nope. Okay, let's see. Do I dive here? Oh. The answer is yes, most definitely, if he stays. If he stays, we dive 100%. Oh, no. And of course, he cleared the minions. Great. Love, gotta love AMC. 
course he cleared the minions. My cooldowns are so high. Okay. It's not even that I missed the two, it's just that he was out of range. Okay, do I go? Let's go cool down loads. And we'll go straight into breastplate. The, the nice thing about Bacchus is I can go like two or three tank items and still do all of his health. That's really good. Okay, he's getting Soul, uh, soul Eater, which I don't agree with because Bacchus has anti heal. Once I get Divine Ruin, he's that's going to not help him at all. I mean, outside of combat, it's going to heal him a lot. So all he has to do is run away, which is pretty easy for AMC. Maybe it is the right choice. Okay, he doesn't know my kit's down right now, so <laughs> if he knew my kit was down there, I could have taken the fourth of my health. Right, yeah, he's gonna start tower sitting. As AMC does. Right on. See, but he has more sustain than me. If I destroy all of his hives, maybe maybe I can kinda of get his mana to wear down a bit. Because he didn't go transcendence. He does have mages busted though. Probably not. Nice auto attack cancel. It's only like 40 damage, right? But it adds up. Guardian autos add up for sure. If you don't auto attack, you cannot win. <laughs> That's probably pretty obvious though. Oh, I missed that one. Basically, the name of the game here is wearing him down and either getting him to back and take red buff or just killing him. The thing, the problem is that he has double chalice as well as mages blessing, and he has his hives to heal, which is way too much. I gotta clear a little bit. A little bit, I gotta clear. I hate that that reaches my minions. I hate, I hate playing like this, but sometimes you have to. See, he can, he can just keep doing that. However, I think he's using more mana than he's getting. He's already back to full health. Was he at like half a health? Wow, he's healing so much. He's healing so very much. That's so dumb, honestly. I got my Warrior's Blessing involved as well. Okay, he's at half health, but he's probably going to heal it all back up. Okay, if he backs here, that'd be very, very good for me, so. Wow, he actually backed. He gave me red buff. Nice. I actually did, because I, I ran out of mana, basically. Like, I still have some mana chalices, but I'm surprised he backed. I guess it's because he wants his soul eater online, so he gets those stacks. Makes sense. All right, we have to back right away, otherwise he's going to take my blue buff, which I do not want. Uh oh Okay, he missed. That's fine. Maybe we can stay a bit. I might have to ult next wave. Juke, juke, juke. <laughs> okay, he just missed every single auto attack. I'm not gonna stay and find out what happens. All right. I hate having, I hate ulting the wave. Especially when my two just gets the job done. But I feel like it puts me in a way worse position if I do that. Okay, we need breastplate. Alone the means great. We need breastplate for the cooldowns. Okay, we're in a good spot here. Now, okay, we need spear. Oh yeah, also Bacchus. People will always say that I build Bancrofts on every single god. I don't build Bancrofts on Bacchus. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I do, but m most of the time I don't. I feel like I feel like he needs the mana and cooldowns far, far more. Hey, look, this is up. Nice. Right on. Mm. All right. So we'll probably get spear because spear we can stack with our three pretty easy, as well as divine ruin. He's already oh, yeah. he's getting protections. All right. I wonder if that's going to be a bulwark, which is fine. Bacchus is one of the gods that. One of the few guardians that actually doesn't get hurt by diminish by not diminishing returns uh ccr the only thing it affects is the stun on his burp and the stun on his ult and the stun on the burp i only really use to land my three 100 guaranteed which it's not going to reduce it that enough that much and the ultimate the effect isn't even that good honestly it's pretty easy counteracted so 
It's fine if he gets Bullock. It's mainly going to be the passive that's going to hurt me, but that's okay, too. Because, like, if I'm on Ymir and they get Bulwark, it's not even the passive that hurts me. It's the fact that it reduces my stun by 20%. And it actually gets to the point where I can't even get my Freeze with the Manishu Returns. Or not my Freeze, but my 2 after my Freeze. That's really annoying. I gotta do another Ymir game, too. Okay, that's his ultimate. Let's just get away from him so he doesn't pick it up. Oh, that sucks. My 2 wasn't up yet. I have a full defense item in his box. I guess he has tier 2, so it's fair enough. Yeah, if you don't use that burp first, AMC has too much movement speed. I got it up again. I don't think I have to. Racer. Uh, he got it up again. Don't like how AMC's alt works. What sucks against AMC too is you have to back so far, otherwise he stops your back with the with honey. The honey, honestly, one of AMC's best card part of his kit. Oh, it's so useful. All right, I, I think I am gonna get upgrades under. Honestly, I think it'll help so much. I say honestly a little bit too much because upgraded under increases damage by twenty percent, which is really good. Because if Basically, if I were to combo him right now, he would still have about 20% of his HP left. Once I get Spear, though, because I don't have Pen right now. So, with, with, with Sunder, I should be able to do just enough. So, I was hitting him for 72. That's not that bad. I think my auto, autos hit him for about the same. Good thing I didn't take his tower shot there. It sucks that I have to use two abilities to poke him down, and he only has to hold left click to poke, to poke me down. And he just heals it all back up, you know? Honestly, I might just have to use my ult for poke. Uh, try and get him to lose as many minions as possible. I don't know if he's gonna chase me or if he, where is he gonna, gonna go. Don't know if he's chasing me or not. I just hope he doesn't steal this. Yeah, he's gonna steal this. Oh, he missed! He doesn't even know where the buff is. Nice. <laughs> Very good because he could win and got his buff there. It's a little leads, little things like that. To get you ahead. Honestly, I really hate how far, how safe AMC can play. Oh, yeah. It's perfectly fine. I do say honestly too much. I've said it like 10 times. Alright. That's pretty annoying. And he can just tank my tower. Look, my tower's almost down, and I've been clearing almost every wave, I think. Alright, now we need the other one. Your middle tower is under attack. Your middle tower okay. has been destroyed. With Polly and Sunder, might have the late game. I don't know. I say might have the late game, not because we we have better late game. Obviously, MC has a better late game, but because I can probably kill him in the late game, which means oh, yeah. that I can I can get get a get his tower, get his phoenix, get his get his titan like that. Because if I can just burst him down. Let's see, I have pen now, so okay, we're doing a decent amount of damage. Really wish I was doing more, but I don't have much power. I hate having to take that tower shot to poke him. I guess I don't need to. But like basically if I play more far back, he just clears wave, because that's what AMC does, and AMC's annoying like that. Basically once I get him low enough. Oh, how did he do that? Okay. You are so annoying, AMC. Wow, I got no heal from that. No heal. Alright, should I stay? Yo, he's about to get his ult back. I just realized that was stupid of me. He's about to get his ult. Yep. Uh, okay. Ah! 
Okay. <laughs> I think we're okay. I think we're fine. Oh, yes, Blink! Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, my, my man got Blink! Oh, that scared me. Okay. Alright, well, now we know he has Blink. <laughs> oh, I did not look at his relics. I am guilty. I'm I, I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm guilty of not looking at relics. It's one reason I'm not in Grandmaster, I'm in Diamond 5. Bad and I play gods like Bacchus, but okay. <laughs> right on. Alright. Say stop it. Stop it. Okay, he has executioner, which is bad for us. Like, really bad for us. But once we get to that ruin, he's not going to be able to heal. Okay, so that bugs me. That bugs me how AMC has so much movement speed that I can use my three and he can just be like, oh, I'm going to turn away and he can get out of it before the stun goes off. That is so annoying. No god should have that much movement speed, sustain, auto attack damage, all in one ability. Those hives are so dumb. I can't get my... I can't get my blue buff. I'll get my blue buff. I could die. I should have used my leap earlier, actually. That's okay. Um, we might have to sell our, one of our chalices for to get wards soon. Otherwise, he's gonna take a uh, bull demon. Pro we'll probably sell the mana chalice because we're not really having mana problems anymore. Did he take my blue buff? He didn't take my blue buff, which means he must be taking bull demon. Right? Or he backed? Oh, okay. I guess he backed. Gonna miss out on those minions because I really thought that he was taking building it. Really, really thought he was taking building it. Maybe he is. Maybe he was waiting there for me to leave. Sometimes people do that. No, he's really not taking it. Okay. Our Sunder is up. We might be able to fight him here. Might be able to. Keyword. The very divine rune up as well. Really, really annoying that he can do that. Ah, uh, hate that so much. However, we can snipe him like that. All right, if he stays, our next combo should kill him. I'll use my burp, sunder, two all. However, he's gonna tower sit because that's what AMC does. All right, Mike got him. Nope! Uh, the CCR actually did help him with the bulwark. I should have used it in front of him. Great. So the CCR actually is enough so that I can't land my stun guaranteed. Because the more movement speed you have, the two is not, not that hard to hit on its own, right? But against AMC, where he gets like a million movement speed from his hives, it becomes pretty difficult to hit in this matchup. Because he can just, he can just run really dislike how he's just playing safe and he's not getting punished for it because I can't. Okay, we're gonna just bait him over here maybe. Ah, oh, never mind. He's just gonna pick it up. I took almost all my health for that. His blink. Shoot. I wonder if he's gonna use it though. No, he's not gonna use it. Okay. Oh, what item do I need next? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we're not gonna buy an item because we need to defend. Polly. Polly will be next. So dumb that he gets so much movement speed. Maybe I could get Gem Viso. Nah. Or I could sell. Late game, I could sell my Breastplate for Nimeon and get Rono's Pendant, baby. Did I get that? I thought I would maybe steal that. What an annoying god. Like a really annoying god. Just keeps tower sitting and he's, he can play it fine. And he has a million movement speed, so he'll probably be back at tower before he loses any of these minions. Let's see. Let's see if I was right. Well, nope. Yeah, he was able to. Even though he just backed. He got kin size, which is fine because I'm not building health. I'm a guardian, so I have high base health, but it's okay. It's It maxes at 2,000 health, though, which, which sucks because I have 2,000 health. Exactly. I forgot that king size passive change sometimes. Oh, we're doing a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. 
Okay, can you? Is he not able to hit the auto? <laughs> this is what I'm. This is what I'm losing to, ladies and gentlemen. You gonna go back to your tower again? Hey, that almost worked. No. Okay, missed this all. Yes. First blood. Twenty minutes in with the wave. This is really good. Might be able to take tower. I mean, we will be able to take tower, I think, and hopefully red buff. There we go. Why did he turn back around? Maybe he thought he could heal with the Soul Eater. That's the only reason I could think that he decided to turn around is that he could heal with Soul Eater. Or maybe he's going to try and clear the wave before he died. Either way, it was a bad idea. Aw. Red Rug placed in plat 5, which is absolutely fine. That's good. Oh, wait. Red Buff's down. Okay. Well, let's just kill this. Okay, let's sell our chalice for uh, wards now, because now Bull Demon is a very imminent threat. Okay, we're gonna get Polly. I would maybe get Soul, Re Soul, uh, Soul River, but it's not that good. Okay, last item could either be Chrono... It'll be Nemean, and then we'll switch this out for Chrono Spender, or we might just leave it that way. I think that's best. Okay, he's going double defense as well. Which makes my spear less effective, but I think it's still better. I think if they go over 160, that's where it's better to get Obsidian. I think I might just have to start doing that. Getting my two first. Okay, we got his Bulwark. Run away. He, he, he can't tower sit as easy now, which is very nice. Okay, once his bulwark runs out, we are diving him so hard. He's not going to know what hit him. Unless he runs. I can kind of XP deny him better now. Not as good, though. I messed up. I should just let him kill the wave, honestly. We'll, we'll do that with the next one. The next wave. We'll let him do. Oh, I can get red buff now. That's fine. Wow, we're actually winning this. I actually cannot believe that. How is this happening? People always get mad at me because I don't ban uh, pockets. I mean, I don't ban pockets. I don't ban AMC. I don't know. I feel like you can actually beat AMC, whereas the uh, mages know. You guys, uh, watch my last full gameplay if you don't know about the, the giveaway I'm doing. I don't, I think I, I might have some Just codes for, I'll have to look at which codes I have for next video, because I think I'll do another one next video. Not this one, though, because I'm not sure which codes I have. Oh, we got Ansel. Okay, that's smart. Now I have to initiate first with my two. Okay. There we go! So, here's my strategy, right? When he ults me, I just run away because he's always going to go and pick it up. Which puts him out of position because it's away from the Phoenix, which is his safe little hidey hole. And then I kill him. I don't know if I wasted a poly shot there. Wow, we actually got Phoenix. Uh, I can't do damage to, to Titan. My wave is way too far away. Most I can do right now is just clear all these hives and probably get my blue buff. This is really well. Okay, so even if we lose, this is a good game. Doesn't that suck that I have his, I have his phoenix, I have his tower, I'm two kills ahead. I'm pretty much a full build, yet yeah, he's probably still going to win. Well, I mean, he's full build too. Why does he have crusher? Okay. If he sells Crusher. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll get Nimi in. And we might. Let's. We'll think about switching out Breastplate for Chrono's Pennant. To have more, more burst damage as well as a little bit more cooldown. Alright. If we get Red Buff, we can definitely one shot him. The Sunder is working out, by the way. Sunder might be coming back. I bought Sunder as a joke in a game the other day on stream, and it worked out very well. It seems like it's only good if you upgrade it, though. If you don't upgrade it, it's garbage. 
Starting off with Sunder, though, that's that's where it's... I don't know whether it's better or not, because you, you're basically 500 gold behind, but you also have that burst. It's confusing sometimes. We're just gonna... Is he giving up? Is he just giving up, man? No, come on. I... What? Why is he giving up? What is he doing? Okay. He just gave up, my man. Dude... That sucks. Are you kidding me? You know how hard that... Oh, he paused it too. Why would you do that? You know how hard... That game was very difficult to do. And then we're at the basically the climax of the game. And he just sits in fountain base attacking. So that, that sucks. And then he pauses it. You can pause at the end screen. That's the next level of, of DM, my man. Why did he do that? I was excited to see how... Like what was going to happen. And it's like, he kind of defended there, but if you, if you saw how much damage I did, all I had to do was use my 2 poly 3, run away, 2 poly 3, run away, 2 poly 3 and all. I would have gotten it anyways. I don't think he would have been able to defend against it. Maybe that's what he realized. He might have been able to get a kill out of it though, which could completely turn around. Like he kills me once, he can, might be able to end off that. Because he can solo titan. Wow, is this actually a thing? Does it infinitely pause? Can I like not? Is it like I can't get my win? Okay, game on pauses. Okay. All right. All right, buddy. Well, look out for that. You can apparently pause when you lose now. <laughs> That's pretty funny, but it's also pretty. It's it's pretty salty. It's it's being a very sore loser if you do that. So what did I get in this? Oh, look at these. All right, I'm going to open these. Favor booster. All right, this one's going to be uh, XP booster. This one's going to be XP booster. No, fancy booster. All right, I like fancy boosters more. All right, GG. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I was not expecting to get a win. To be honest, I was hoping to get first blood. And that's about it. So here's why I think I, I won. He built Crusher. Crusher's not that great against Bacchus, especially when I have double defense. If they, and it's not good late game. Um, the Anso was a good pickup. Bulwark was a good pickup. Soul Eater, not horrible, but late game, pretty bad because I get Divine Rune, I have Anti Hill on my three. Transcendence would have been so really good too, but look how much power it gives. It gives 60 power. So on its own, it's not horrible. So although I wouldn't build it, I don't think that's why he lost. I think he could. I think somebody could make a Soul Eater build work against Bacchus. But it's mainly the Crusher and the Ansel. And also um, his positioning. Sometimes he ran back in when he shouldn't have. I did a little bit more player damage in him. I, I, I want to start talking about the post matchup as well. Um, upgrade Sunder. Very good pickup. Bracer was a great pickup. I think our build was spot on. These two items could have maybe been switched. And what rank are we now? I think we're diamond five. Yep, we're diamond five, but we belong in plat one. Sad days. That's okay. All right. GG, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.